met anyone who treated a person to run away from your responsibilities to abandon your comrades? We think you owe it to us to honor your commitment. What? But I didn't commit to anything. Alright, technically that's true. We didn't really commit to the student council, but I mean, hey, I consider it as we're pretty much a done deal that I'm now with these two gals or whatever possible members that we have in student council. So I mean, hey, man, I'm with it. <laughs> Uh, my breathing catches in my throat, and I momentarily start choking. Why? Jesus. That's not true, Chen. You said you were not useless. You definitely said it. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. We are calling you on those words now. You better prepare to show you are not a useless guy. I'm fucking hurt. Your honor will be forever soiled forever if you try to get out of this. So for the rest of the day, we're going to hang out together, just the three of us, and work hard. Real hard. Oh, yeah. She's going to sign something to her. You can't fool us. You should be happy. You're doing school a great service. Ask not what your school can do. No, stop. I will not allow you to quote JFK in for fucking student council. But what you can't... Oh, fuck. And then she laughs, of course, because she's a fucking asshole. She laughs even harder. How depressing. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, so. Cheer up. Cheer up, Chan. She slaps me harder across the back with enough strength. I'm trying to do it myself, but I can't. Ah. It just feels good. Uh, she slaps me harder across the back with enough strength to knock the air out of my lungs. I gasp to breathe. Besides, aren't you happy you get to spend the day with two cute girls? Alright, I mean, technically you're right, and I do agree. So, um, alright, I guess, fine, whatever. The <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I guess they are right. I, I did blurt those words out. Accepting my fate, I follow them to the student council room. And the hammer, the final nail into the stall. It took all of the afternoon, and dinner time is nearly over. But it is done now, so we just help them make their stalls and shit. That's cool. I don't mind that. Shizune pulls out a roll of measuring tape and a small level, uh, and inspects it thoroughly. She smiles, looking pleased, then notions for Misha to come over. She says you did a very good job. In fact, you might actually have a gift for this, for building shit. I'm a fucking dude. Of course I am. Wow, I'm impressed too. And that was fast. Have you done this before? Well, you know, you know, you know. Maybe, maybe, you know. Now, can you- Why, Sal? Sal, take the- Ugh. I get he's in high school, right? He's a fucking scrub, but you- You can't- You can't- Fine, whatever. Alright, did you really hate it that much? You just building shit. Come on, Asal. Well, our quarter for the day is six stalls. In a few minutes, me and Shizune could, should finish this one. See? What? That means four more to go. Wow! I did, like, a bunch. And they did... Wait, what? We're making good time, she says. So we need to do four more, okay. Or them, I don't know. Isn't this great fun? No, not at all. <laughs> what? I can think of a million things I'd rather do, but I suppose everyone has to do their share for the festival. Even me. You're both lucky that I'm helping you two out. If I really didn't want to, I could have gotten out of it easily. Really, Hachan? Yeah, of course, it's not difficult. Misha laughs. She's chat thinks you're just running your mouth. Japanese people have no fight or flight reflex. What? The fuck? Okay, I guess. She, they said it, not me. Shizune tends her fingers deviously. Definitely, definitely, definitely. If you really wanted to escape, you would have taken that immediate action. That is how you know someone is serious. When they have no doubts and no regrets. Maybe it was a bad idea to tell you that, since now Hachan knows what to do next time. 
But uh, just the fact that she is all right with telling me this shows that she doubts I'll be able to act on it. That only makes me want to do it more. And I almost want to want the opportunity to do so to rise again. But if that happens, she might get me again somehow. Well, yeah, because you kind of want... I don't know. You want to prove her wrong, I guess? I don't know. I don't give a fuck about this. To me, I'm just like, yeah, I do it. You know? I don't see the big deal here, but whatever. So Chan says she is happy for now. <laughs> I added the for now part because it's... Wow, it's fucking dark, dude. A much, uh, much later in the evening... We are looking at six completed stalls. With the pride of a job well done, we sit back and admire the fruits of our labor. Not sharing a word between us, just admiring. I realize I'm feeling quite thirsty. Hey, isn't there a vending machine out in the hall? Uh, they're on all day, right? Yeah, the, the drinks are very cheap too. We usually get something from there on days like this. I dig around my pockets and find a few, uh, a few eh, what? Find a single hundred yen coin. Is this enough? I'm feeling kind of thirsty. 100 yen? That can only- you can get any drink with the machine with that. That's good. That's very good then. Bro, how- how- how broke are you? I know you're a student. I get it. And you know, you're in a new fucking thing. And they had to pay for your hospital bills and shit. So I get it. Well, or however that works in Japan or whatever. Um, based in the South American fucking health system, which is fucking awful, but whatever. I'll save you the speech. Uh, 100 yen is like a dollar. Hell, less than a dollar, actually. So, I mean, that's pretty fucking good. Yeah. Shit. I guess this is a school, right? So, I guess they get privately funded. I don't know. Whatever. I'm thinking about this way too much. Uh, wait a second. What is this, Chan? Do you want to get you a drink, too? Yeah, but you're paying me because I don't know you like that. So, there's no way I'm buying you this drink. Hey, Chan, you really helped us today. So, today, I... I mean, to Chan will treat you. Oh, all right. Well, there you go. I fuck with that. Do I have a tax? I do have a tax. Cool. <laughs> uh, hey, what about me? What What would you like? I'm feeling thirsty myself. So am I. Are you really explaining it to me now? I don't need to hear a conversation between you two. I I don't know. I think it's fine. I guess the melon soda. Hey, wait to chat. I also want a drink. Lol. Aw. You know, it's times like this that I think she's just teasing me. That's probably it. I'm sure you'll get something, or she'll get you something, right? Yeah, she usually does, but you never know. <laughs> I guess. Shijinae comes back with two melon sodas and a can of fruit juice. Ah, oh, so she knows exactly. Okay, cool. I'm assuming that's like her go-to drink. <clears throat> Sorry, stretching. I'm recording a lot of shit. <clears throat> she adds one of the sodas, and the other to Misha. Why are you having a soda, bro? Why can't you get this water? Water's better for you, bro. <laughs> I'm judging a fucking fake character for their health decisions. Thanks to Chan, I had a total faith that you get me one. I knew I could count on you. Yeah, all right, sure. But how do you know this is what I wanted? I usually get something else. What? You knew I want to try it and that I like these kind of childish things? Okay, that's... Cool. <laughs> I'm just... Alright, cool. I don't give a fuck. Why is this dialogue important to me? That's my question. I gesture my thanks to Shizune, who smiles and nods. Hey, uh, Hichan? Uh, yes? We've been spending a lot of time together, already in such a short time. We've done so much. Yeah, except for, you know, fuck. Uh, we should both stop beating around the bush. What I'm trying to say is we're trying to fuck. Are you down? It sounds a lot like she's going to ask me out, but that can't be it. Because <laughs> you you almost fucking died last time, the Sal. So <laughs> Your heart can't fucking take it, scrub. Nevertheless, my heart is beating like a jackhammer. Damn. It reminds me. Yeah, exactly. It reminds me from before. Cool. I tried to say something. Uh, sorry, hold up. PlayStation was on. I tried to say something, but my brains can't decide whether to stop her or tell her to continue. Wait, 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 wait. I know what you're going to say. 
And yes, I would like to fuck. I have the avatar blurry. What the fuck? Sorry, this is it's totally random. So where my little desk is, like, we have the DVD collections that me and my family have, and I just realized that they bought the Avatar Blu-ray, which I don't understand why. Maybe they're going to watch Avatar 2. I thought Avatar sucked. Not the anime. I meant the, the, the movie by James Cameron. I don't know that shit sucked. That's me. Um, I'm kind of, like, organizing as we record because I'm kind of busy today. Anyway, I feel myself blushing all the way to the ears. You need to relax. What I'm trying to say is, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Would you like to join student council? What the fuck else would I have been? Ah, what a disappointment. <laughs> he says it out loud. He says it out loud. Ah, this shit gets it. I love it. There you go. Did you think she wanted to ask you out of chat? I mean... Wow, even she's doing any fucking blushes. Damn, Mitch is laughing her ass off at this. I'm pretty fucking embarrassed right now, and I can feel myself getting even redder in the face. Shizune also tries to hide a blush after Mitch translates and then puts a few sheets of paper in front of me. So, how about it? All the paperwork is right here. I gotta do actual paperwork for this? What? Okay. And you are shooting down anyway. You look very at home here. Drinks and everything. What do you say? She quiets down a little and asks again, a little more solemnly. Hey Chad, what do you say? You don't exactly hate this, right? Uh, I'm more than a little surprised by this sudden change of tone. I don't really know how to react. For one thing, she isn't shouting uproariously with no regard for tact. Before, I'm sure she knew already that I was going to say no. This time, she seems actually curious. I think maybe you should join. Not just because we could use your help, but, well, you're hanging out with us anyway. I think Sachan would like it if you would join as well. It's not like you hate us or anything, right? Well, if you look at the comments, they fucking hate you. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm okay, okay? I'm all right with you two. I'm okay with Misha. She's in there, I feel like I need to learn more about before like I even say anything about her, right? But like, yeah, I, 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 I deal with you. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt if you joined, and I'd appreciate it if you would. She seems to be having a hard time getting her words out, which is strange for someone talkative like Misha. For some reason, I'm almost troubled by it. Are you alright? <laughs> My eyes drift over to Shizune, who stares back at me tentatively, absentmindedly cleaning her fingernails. If you don't want to join, I promise you won't ask again, but if you did, we would really be happy. Puff Shizune and Misha seems to be unable to look at me in the eye. Wow, they're really serious about this. They're very genuine. I can't lie, the thought of being around these two such cute girls is something that I couldn't possibly pass up. I'm not looking forward to this kind of work every day, but there should be less after the festival. Eh, I would think so, right? Yeah, okay, me too, buddy. <laughs> All right, I guess it can't hurt, so why not? Wonderful, wonderful, and then she laughs. Shizune tents her fingers in satisfaction. She'll fill everything out, Hitchat. Congratulations, you are officially a member of the student council now. Great, I'm not looking forward to a lot of work. <laughs> to be honest, I've never done any student council activities before. Oh, dude, it's fucking... It's, it's fucking awful. I'm telling you right now. Nah, I mean, it's not awful. I just didn't like it because I didn't like the members in my student council, but it's all right. I joined for like maybe a week, I want to say, and then I was like, nah, you fucking people suck. I don't want to deal with you guys for all these big events. So I'm fucking gone. Um, like in high school, I think I mentioned this before, I did a lot of club activities. So I was in Gamers Club. I was in Guitar Club. I was in Anime Club. I was in... What the fuck else was I in? I already forgot. It must have been whatever. I was in film club. Um, I joined a lot in, in the, um, what should we call it? The uh, the gym stuff. I would join in there. Um, I was like, I, I, I tried for the basketball team. I tried in for the, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, for In middle school, I tried for the, for the football team and I was on it. Uh, I only really made it as a practice squad member, but I was on the team, which was cool. Um, 
Uh, for people that know football, right, and or if you're not from America, uh, the gridiron um, sport, um, I applied to be a defensive lineman, and I got it. Uh, I earned the spot, and I was really good. My fir The first snap we had to practice for my trial in that position, I immediately sat the quarterback. Uh, but for whatever reason, the coach wanted me to be an offensive lineman because I was a big kid, and I was like, why? You just saw me run through your offensive line. And he was like, uh, don't question me, go for a lap. I'm like, alright, I guess. Um, and then I was, I was a line, and then I was a, uh, a guard, um, for all of practice, and I'm just like, I don't really fuck with this, this is stupid, I'm just blocking dudes. Um, like, I wasn't hard, I, like, I, I was better as a lineman than I was a guard, so why would you put me, you feel me? If you have a player who's good at one position, why would you switch it to the opposite side of it, just because, like, oh, well, they can get to, get through my regular line, I want him to be helping out the line. Why? I could be doing this to other quarterbacks. Whatever. Fuck. Fucking, ah. Frustration. Memories. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, do, do club activities in your schools. Whether you're in college, high school, middle school, whatever. It's just good on your overall, like, perception from people. Um, fuck everybody's opinion about you. But, you kind of have to play the game if you want to get ahead in certain things in life, whether it's the workforce or the work field, um, professionally in, in whatever, I just feel like you need to be able to play that kind of game. You want to have a certain point of view from people on you, but then when you actually get to know someone, you're, the true truth comes out, right? Because you, I don't want to say act fake, but you want to put, you want to create the point of view that you kind of want from people, um, but still be you as a fucking whole. No, don't be fucking fake as fuck. I mean, like, play the game. I don't know. How to, I don't know how to say. It. For people that watch wrestling, you gotta play the game. Um, I already forgot Triple H's music. Fuck. Never mind. I'm gonna move on. But maybe it'll be a positive experience to join the student council. Misha starts to clap, laughing exuberantly as she does. Congratulations, and Chan. Congratulations! That one was just an eight. Cool. Congratulations! I'm gonna stop because that fucks with the mic. <laughs> I get the message. I can't help but smile finding such a display childishly cute. The Senate Council is always busy, you know. But for today, we're done. We'll see you tomorrow, Chan. We still have work left, so we'll be counting on you. I leave the room, feeling totally wiped out. The grounds are totally deserted, and the school looks pretty ominous this late. The council office is the only window with lights on anymore. Is this what the student council will be like? My body might not be able to take it. And hearing to the nurse's nagging voice in the back of my head, I set my alarm clock to wake me up, wake me up, early enough to go jogging again. I made a promise, and I'm going to keep it. Besides, Emmy's bound to ride on me if I don't show up. But, it's not all that bad. Guess what, y'all? I just found this out. Hear the music. It keeps going. I love that. The transitional music has an extended fucking version. I fuck with that. I'm also gonna end the episode. Yeah, I'm also gonna end this episode right here, folks. Thank you all for watching. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, good bye.